Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at the triaxial test and compare it to the shear box test to see its difference. So a tri triaxial test, what we do is, is we have a cylinder of soil. So we have our cylinder of soil, and if I were to draw this in section, we would have, so this is our cylinder of soil. So I'm going to draw our soil in black. So our soil is sitting in here. And what we do is, is we subject this sample of soil. So the first stage is we subject, subject it to water pressure. So we put water pressure all around it, which we call sigma r, the radial stress. So sigma r that way, sigma r, it's going all around the, uh, the circumference of the cylinder. And we also have sigma r coming down because the radial stress goes above it. So we're getting stress all over our soil element from water pressure. We then come and we put a force on our sample. So now we have a force F which acts over an area. So this stress, we know that stress is equal to force on area. And we would have a reacting axial stress. So if we wanted to relate all these things together, we would say that the axial stress is equal to the radial stress, so for vertical equilibrium, plus this F on A. Okay, so the axial stress is equal to the radial stress from the, pull, the, from the um, pressure of the water, plus this force acting over the area. We're going to be using this equation in the next video. Um, we're going to use it and we're going to discuss it a bit further. But just for now, we're going to get an appreciation for what's happening in the triaxial test. The triaxial test gives us strength in terms of principal stresses. So this is the triaxial. Triaxial compared to the shear box, which gives us the strength along 